Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a very basic, kind of a smoky eye, using what most beginners do use. Um, obviously not everyone's the same. Some people jump into makeup and they immediately go for high-end brands. But most beginners that don't really know too much about makeup will use drugstores. A lot of people that do use makeup, like often we'll also use drugstore brands so we're just gonna go with a drugstore a day and then I'll show you another look another time with not drugstore so since it's very very beginner this is my beginner makeup series we're gonna go with this one it's the stylish smokes emerald smokes by Maybelline New York and I'm sure you guys have seen this it has the four different colors and they're labeled, so one says base, lid, crease, and liner, and that's the four different colors. And then on the back, it even gives you like a little idea of what colors go where. Um, so a lot of beginners go for these type of things that tell you where to put the eyeshadow, because if you don't know what you're doing, then this tells you. Um, but I just thought I would go ahead and do this for today. Now, before you do eyeshadow, you do need to set a base on your eyelid so that the blending will blend. So you're going to need an eyeshadow primer, and I like the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion. A lot of people don't like it, um, and then a lot of people do. So again, it's just a preference thing. I'm sure you could find a drugstore primer, but I have not seen one, so I'm just going with the Urban Decay one. And this is just a little sample I got in an MC bag, so... I can't, I don't know how much it would cost. So I just like to put a little bit on the back of my hand and use my finger. I kind of tap it out to make sure it's creamy and it's not too thick or anything. You want to use a middle finger or a ring finger because they're not as strong as your other fingers and they won't pull at the skin on your eye, which is very delicate. So I just like to tap it on. Make sure it's spread out evenly on my lid. And I'll do that on both eyes. I like to get a, a tinted primer like this, like it's skin tone colored, because it helps add a little bit of coverage if I have any like dark veins on my lids showing through, or if you have very thin skin on your eyelids and you have veins showing through if you have any kind of scarring or anything a tinted eyeshadow primer will help cover that up now just as with any cream product we've used in the series so far you do need to set it to set it you just get a big eyeshadow brush like this this is not gonna focus I don't know why I thought it would um, just like a big fat fluffy brush and this is a Sephora one so I'm gonna take my brush and take it right into that light color and then I'm just going to start placing it on top of that so I'm going to start right underneath my eyebrow and bring it all the way down to my lash line when you pick up eyeshadow make sure you tap off the excess so you don't have too much fallout on your face And you're just doing a little bit, just, well not a little bit, a lot, is what I did. But you just need enough to cover that whole lid to make sure that every bit of that primer is set into place. Next you'll go in with a crease brush. And I like to use like a smaller, more condensed crease brush to place my crease color in. So this is a little bit smaller, a little bit thicker than a normal fluffy one. Not thicker, um, like more, there's more bristles tightly packed is what I meant. And it's a little shorter. And I like this for placing color. So I'm gonna go into this bottom green. Not the very bottom, but like this. I guess I should say middle green. And this is what they intend to go into your crease. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and you just want a little bit 
because for this beginner look, I'm doing kind of a three color smoky eye instead of all the like five transition colors that I would normally do. Since it's beginner, I'm just going to use three colors, tap off any excess, and just start very lightly placing it in your crease. Now you can do sweeping motions or you can do small circular motions. I need to pick up some more of that. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. So what I like to do is just kind of sweep it on. I'm using a very light hand. You don't want to push too hard and end up having some dark smear. And I'm going to focus more of it over here and take it a little higher. But the higher I go, the lighter I'm going to be using, like the lighter hand I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take it about halfway up my upwards. I'm going to take it about halfway upwards. And then when you get towards the middle of the lid, you're going to bring it lower. And then by the time you get to the inner corner, you should be just right inside the crease and not above it. And then I'm going to pick up some more. And on the outer half of my eye, I'm going to go right in the crease with it. I'm going to bring some of that in on the outer V. So that's this outer corner here. I am way off center. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that green. I'm going to bring it in on the outer V. Now that I've got the color placed, what I'm going to do is take the fluffy crease brush like this and just start blending in circular motions. I'm going to start on the outer V where it's the darkest and then I'm going to bring it in and back out. And when I'm out here I'm going to be dragging that color higher and higher and when I'm in here I'm going to be taking it tight into the crease. Now I think I want to make it just a little darker so I'm going to go back into that same color and I'm just going to keep packing it on and then blending it out until I get the color that I want in my crease. I always go for something a little more bold. For a lot of people this would be enough for the crease. I just like extra. When you're blending, like you see this line here, make sure I'm turned the right way. This like really sharp line here, you don't want that to be so sharp, so just continue. I think this brush is dirty. Just blend in circular motions and just keep going over that line until it's blended out. And you can take it higher or you can take it lower. Okay, now you're gonna take a regular eyeshadow brush. Um, when you do use these drugstore things, a lot of people use the little sponges. As you can tell, mine are dirty because I've had this for a while and did that even? These little sponge applicator things that come with this, you can make them work and a lot of people f prefer them. Um, but it's really just better to use a brush. It blends more easily. That's why so many people buy brushes. So you can buy, there's a lot of different brushes you can buy. There's drugstore brushes too. You can buy like e.l.f. brushes or um, Eco Tools brushes are pretty good and they're pretty reasonably priced. But this is the Morphe R42 and it's just a nice little eyeshadow brush. So now what they want you to use for the lid color is this one up here. And it's just a slightly lighter green, so I'm just going to take that on my brush. It's not wanting to pick up a lot of this color. That's why this is not my favorite eyeshadow brush. So just pick up some color, tap off the excess. 
and then just sweep it onto your lid. And if the color's not very pigmented, like I don't think that is very colorful at all. You can take some setting spray. So you'll just pick up some more color, top off the excess, and spray it down. And then let's try it again. That's a little better. It might just be the color that I don't like. And then you'll take your crease brush, where did I put you? And just blend it so that the two colors blend together. And then you will do the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now we're gonna do eyeliner and mascara. Now, if you line your tight line or your water line is a very personal decision. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people think nobody should do it, but it can make your eyes look smaller. For me, just because of my eye shape, it helps give them a def definite shape. And if I do any kind of wing, then I always do my waterline. Lining your tight line can make your lashes look thicker and darker and fuller. And if you have light colored eyes, it will really make the color pop. But waterline, that can really make your eyes look smaller. So it's just kind of up to you what you like and what you don't like. Nobody else gets to decide whether or not you wear a tight line mascara or tight line or waterline eyeliner. So uh, I use the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner for my tight line up there just because this does not transfer onto my contact and a lot of eyeliners do. So to do your tight line, you'll just pull up a little bit so you can see it. Not a little bit, just pull it up so you can see this ridge and just line as close to your lashes as you can get. Take a break if you need it. My eyes water very easily, so. And then for the waterline, just pull it down a little bit and then you can get in there. Now for my regular liner, I like to use more of a liquid or a felt tip marker. So today I'm using the Too Faced Sketch Marker, You're So Too Faced, which is just a pointed felt tip marker liner thing. What I like to do is start at the inner corner, trying to stay as close to my lash line as possible, and just go towards the middle of my eye. Now the reason I stay so close to my lash line is because I cannot do a straight line. So in fixing it, it's going to get thicker. And if I start off with a thick line, then I'm just going to have half my eyelid and eyeliner. So now I'm just going to straighten it out. All the way up to that midpoint of my eye. And then I'm going to do from the outer to the middle. It was harder to do and stay in frame. And then I'm just doing a little baby wing. So I'm going to go from my lower lash line up towards my um, eyebrow. That's the word I'm thinking of. And then just connect it to my eyeliner and that is it for eyeliner now we'll go into mascara but before I put on mascara I use this little torture device looking thing to curl my lashes just hold it for a few seconds for my top lashes I like to use benefits roller lash mascara it just puts a light coating and makes them a little bit longer and it helps hold that curl a little bit because my lashes are very very straight. And I just go in a side to side motion and drag upwards. And I give two or three coats to each 
I work in segments, so I do the inner corner, the middle, then the outer corner, then just two or three coats for each. And if I feel like the tips need it, I'll drag those out too. For my lower lashes, I like to use Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It really adds more thickness to them. Now when you're doing your mascara, you don't want to pull your wand up and down and kind of pump your mascara. That'll cause clumps. All you need to do is kind of swirl your brush in there and then pull it out. And if you've got like clump, like a whole bunch clumped on the end, just slide it on the edge of your tube. Now for my lower lash, what I do is I tilt my head down and I look up towards my mirror. And side to side, very lightly. If I push too hard, then it's going to end up all over my under eye skin. So that's it for eyes. I normally wear lashes on the day to day. A lot of people don't, but how to put on false lashes is going to be its own video and how to do a full sized wing will be in the nighttime look. Like this is just a daytime look. Um, obviously a lot of other people wouldn't want to do this much eyeliner for a normal day today. So if you have anything about this look that you don't like, don't do it for yourself. And yeah, that's it for the first beginner's daytime eye look. And yeah, uh, next uh, will be a nighttime, a beginner's basic nighttime look. And we'll have a more dramatic wing and bolder eyeshadow, of course. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. I hope this was at least a little bit helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at shewhospeaks underscores instead of spaces. I'm also on Snapchat at Kimberly.Nicole with a K not a C. If you want to watch any more of my videos, there will be two on the screen for you to choose from. Go ahead and click on my face to become an adventurer and join our little family. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!